each other in a couple decades. <laughs> you remember? Yeah. yeah. After that, yeah. biology part. Yeah. Are you a fan of Nick Lane's books? Right? Yes. I, I like his books a lot. I mean, his ideas, some of those are a little different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. All these things are room for different things, but um, but but I, I I find his stuff provocative. He's and what is? I don't have anything to measure it against. I find his stuff compelling, very interesting. But I wonder is this why the Zephyr is a coup? Um, no, I don't. He's not a he's not a coup at all. I think he's got good ideas. Yeah. Um, his stuff isn't really that out there. He just has this sort of big picture way of, of framing things, which I can relate to. Yeah. Anyway, thank you. Sure. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, my name is Richard. <coughs> one of the things I I've written books too. One of the things I try to do is write a different thing in every single book. Of course, it's impossible. It's impossible. I know. I mix it up a little bit, but I do find myself repeating yeah. myself. <laughs> and I, 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 I have. I've been enjoying the stuff that David Flynn writes on Facebook. Actually. Oh yeah. He's one of those. Oh yeah. Intelligent commentary. Yeah, David Brand, yep. he's a neat guy. Yeah, I notice he wrote a little uh, quote on the back of my book here, yeah. um, which was very generous of him. Um, but I've gotten to know him a little bit through some of the SETI controversy stuff. We've been in some of the same, talking to some of the same meetings and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it fair to say that do you know Richard? He was the lead editor of Astronomy Magazine for almost 20 years. What's your last name? Barry. Richard Barry. Oh. Um, way back when. I know who you yeah. are. Right yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you. Tell, the writer yeah. of Building Telescopes. Were you happy when you were a teenager. Uh, or yeah, something. absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. So you live here in Portland? Uh, I live about 40 miles south. Oh, cool. So lucky to have him here as one of our local members. He worked on the, the first images from the Giotto back in the Haley oh. Comet. Haley's Comet. What? What? Did you work on the, help them with the job I missions? No, I covered missions. I was, yeah, covered them. I, I covered all the Voyager missions. NASA. I wrote yeah. their, yeah. I wrote our coverage on, on Voyager. Oh man, yeah, that's the stuff I grew up on. <laughs> Voyager, Voyager was the best thing that ever happened for astronomy magazine circulation. That, the mission turned more people on. Well, and at that than time, anything else that ever happened. And at happened that time, we didn't have the internet, so if you wanted to see the good color pictures. You bought Astronomy Magazine. Yeah, now it's like you just Sky download them. Telescope reproduced them this big and yeah. we made them two page spreads. Yeah. Good on you. Yeah. Astronomy just um, published a really nice review of this book, so I love them this week. Uh, uh, Dave Eicher wrote just like a glowing review. Hey, we'll still be going on. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Well, well, nice good, to nice meet to you. Meet you. Yeah. Hello. So, how are you? How are you? Oh, oh, I know. Yeah, Amanda Hendricks and yes. uh, yeah, some with some writer. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, I know Amanda. We both work for Science for Science. Yeah. 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 I've read somebody that critiqued the thermodynamics of that argument. They said you could burn all the methane. Yeah. But in order to do that, you have to bring oxygen. Well, and I don't know if there's the, also water. Uh, so if you have an energy source, you can collect the 